Good afternoon. Welcome to a new weekly vlog. Let's sing a song full of hope, full of pain. Why don't you sing along, my friend? For it's our last refrain. Forever young, ever strong, ever brave. Memories like this never end. No, they don't fade away. So when I'm gone, when I'm gone, I'll be right there, close to the sun. This week is a bit hectic. So I thought it would be fun to take you on the ride. Um, as my last couple of vlogs, I feel like I've just been sat in the flat and I feel like I'm gonna be a bit all over the place, hopefully, if everything goes to plan this week. I can't count on anything. The podcast is under wraps. If you've heard me chatting so much shit about it, I'm sorry, but I'm literally so excited. Like when I go to bed, I'm like, don't wanna sleep. I just wanna work on the podcast. Like I'm literally so buzzing for it. Like, I feel like I've got so many ideas, so many people I wanna bring on. And it's all underway. I recorded two episodes yesterday, two? Yeah, and then I've got another one today. I've got like five next week. Actually got two later on this week as well with some of my friends. I'm literally having a whole mix of people. I had a few people message me saying, do you have to be an influencer to come on? Absolutely not. Like most of the people I'm interviewing don't do social media or content creation at all. They just want to come on and spread awareness. Don't feel like you have to fit under a certain category to come on the podcast. Like you can literally be anyone out there. If you want to talk about something really, really lighthearted, like it doesn't have to be deep either. I'm just about to record. We've got Megan Horsewood on here. She's going to be talking all about PTSD, um, and her past traumas in terms of toxic friendships and things and discovering herself as a person. I'm really, really excited about this conversation. I feel like it's so nice that I get to like delve into people's lives each day. I think it's so fun. Obviously, I say fun, like not in a way where I'm thriving off people's like bad experiences. Like I don't want it to seem like that. I just feel like it's so interesting for me and educational to like learn about other people's upbringings and yeah, like, I don't know. I just feel like it's very insightful for me to listen to that and also share that with the world too. So I'm excited. What I do for each of the episodes is I basically write a document where I plan out the structure of the episode, things that I might want to talk about. And then whoever is coming on the podcast can be like, nope, I don't want to answer that. Or, and they can tell me if they want to be anonymous. If there's something they want to add to the structure, they can like add it onto the doc as well because it's on google docs you know where you can like edit it and alter it however you feel fit that is the plan i'm very very excited to have a chat with megan and i'm gonna log in now and plug i need to go get my oh my god i think my be real <gasps> it's time to be real if you struggle with like social media being fake and you compare yourself a lot to people online please download be real the be real app it's so good it basically just helps sends everyone a notification at the same time sends everyone a notification at the same time and you just yeah take a photo of what's in it takes a photo of what's in front of you and what's behind the camera and it's it's just so nice because you just see everyone like having like a really normal life like most of the time it's just like me in bed like editing i don't know it's just a really nice app and it's really refreshing so i definitely re recommend it and you can add me on it if you want i think my name is just charlotte emily price the same as instagram but yeah let, right let's log into zoom i've just plugged in my mic honestly i'm obsessed with this microphone i feel like a little freak because i'm obsessed with it so much um i need my headphones i should have charged these i'm gonna shut the door so we don't disturb aiden get this show on the road hello everyone and welcome to it's your life and this is mine the podcast i'm going to be talking all about ptsd toxic friendship self-esteem so me and haz are in gordon ramsay street burger on high street ken because harriet's amazing and brought me a seven plus one <laughs> honestly the food the food looks good have you tried the burger is so it good? good the burger's so good me and Charlotte have been saying <laughs> So <laughs> we really want to like hold I it. I just can't do it. I'm just saying everywhere. I've had to take my ring <laughs> and get like tomatoes. How's it gone for vegan? It's like a mushroom sort of patty, isn't it? Not so simple burger. It's like mushroom. Oh, it looks it good. Like it looks good. And the chips are really good as well. Yeah. Um, I've gone for the JFC. Um, it's basically like southern fried chicken with like smoked cheese, some really nice sauce that I actually like, which is surprising. Lettuce, some other bits in. Honestly don't know. Hello, lovey doveys. Gordon Ramsay yesterday was amazing with Harriet. I would really rate that. It was so quiet in there. It shouldn't be. Um, but it's basically like next to Holland Park on High Street Kensington. Checking that out if you're looking for like a good burger thing. They have this deal where it's £16 and you get any of the burgers um, with whatever fries you want and unlimited drinks. 
unlimited soft drinks um so i think that's quite a good deal especially for london and when you're getting like top quality like gordon ramsay food i think that's so sick so yeah really really enjoyed that so thank you harry for taking me love ya um but this morning i've been trying to rearrange my schedule a little bit i'm gonna record the intro episode for my podcast so that it's all up and ready i think i'm gonna upload the intro episode on the sunday so um everyone can obviously listen to it at the weekend if they're chilling on the sunday and then the first episode will air monday morning on the 23rd i think that's the plan hopefully it all goes ahead and um, which i'm so excited for so i've got the mic out i've just been planning out what i want to say in the intro in case i forget um, and i'm just gonna get it done i'm gonna whack on some clothes not bother with makeup until a little bit later because i'm going somewhere with alice alice is staying around tonight i'm excited about that i got a comment on my last weekly vlog saying that it wasn't good <laughs> and i've like started really overthinking it that like my videos in my flat are like really shit and i just I don't really want to show just the best bits of my life though I feel like that's just so unrealistic and it's going to make people feel worse if I'm just showing the highlights of my day and my week whereas like, I'm just sat in my flat like on my own lonely doing my work it's made me think like are my vlogs shit but then also I don't really do them purely for other people like I just like documenting my life and like being real so yeah if you do enjoy the any of my vlogs any like and comment goes a long way because when i get like a bad one i'm just the worst at taking them i really need to like figure out how i need to stop like taking them on board so intensely because i genuinely will like ruin my day all week and second guessing myself if you have listened to my previous podcast i've recorded before with my friends at uni and then some of my social media friends this time i'm going to be doing something a little bit different i wanted to create a podcast that had some impact i want to unlock uncomfortable conversations with some of the guests that are coming on here if they feel comfortable to beautiful that literally took me six minutes to do i don't know why i've been putting it off i think it was just i was like oh, i want it to be perfect but i really need to like get that out of my head stop wanting perfectionism because it's not all girl i went into central to post some parcels and i had this like really shitty woman like being so horrible about me trying to send off a parcel that her shop said that i could print out a label in um so that was not ideal so i was in like kind of ba a bad mood went to monkey to pick up my bits and i was like on my phone trying to look at like what stuff i needed to get and i fucking bumped into the side men well like some of them because i think they were filming for a side men sunday video i'm assuming because they were, ha were like holding something big they had like a videographer like following them around the store um and harry vick and josh were there so i was like fa fangirling a little bit because i'm a side man fan <laughs> and yeah just quickly picked up my bits and alice is here i'm steaming I'm like <laughs> fashion or something. and she'll be steaming in another way in a few hours Ooh, <laughs> after the so good segue. <laughs> in just an hour or two i've had a really strong coffee so i'm like <laughs> Alice is taking me along to her candy kittens event. So, good. so they're doing a campaign with a brew dog. They're releasing a candy kittens beer, which oh, I that's have no so idea cool. what it's gonna taste like. So sweet beer. Maybe I'll like oh, that really actually. Sweet. Yeah, I feel like I'll quite like it. I think it's like something on guava. Ooh. Like an early-ish like party, which is quite <laughs> nice, like four till six. I think that's quite a nice time. It's we really said so nice we can time. come back and just do our own thing afterwards. Yeah, it's gonna be nice. Get some food. Chill out. The smell just reminds me of like when I worked at Harris. <laughs> steam all the clothes oh very fancy also look how cute Alice is she came bearing flowers <laughs> how sweet you'll make me cry one of these days <laughs> we just put them on the table and then we're gonna record a get ready and a say or shop that oh my gosh i'm so buzzing <laughs> you're not ready are you no i just know <laughs> that i'm gonna <laughs> no i just don't know if i'm ready to I, spill i actually I was made say, it all the way. questions really juicy um yeah and i've got some myself as Ooh, well so love that I was thinking we can shop this purely because I thought it was going to taste really nice and it's actually horrible and I think oh, great. <laughs> and I'm thinking then we will we'll spill because yeah, we you won't want to shot it. What's the, what is it it's Bombay Bramble gin oh my god yeah it's so nice like obviously as in a, a drink yeah, yeah in a drink well, we've got Hendrix actually in here as well I do love a Hendrix maybe we'll get that out and to start us off ease us in <laughs> ease us in on with the filming <laughs> we've got to do it rapidly <laughs> so we're on the northern line <laughs> We've done our say it or shot it. Kind of feel a little bit. Wait, is this gonna be in the same video or separate? Separate. Check out the video. Honestly, yeah. Please watch the say it or shot it because I feel like we spilt some tea. We actually did. Like I actually had information for Jane. I know. I feel like we need to discuss. Yeah, do those more often and discuss what we didn't share on the videos. Yeah. What was the question? I can't even remember. <laughs> anyway, we're on the tube. I feel like I never vlog on the tube because I'm always too. Lovely. 
here. It is gorgeous. We've got Iron Blazer always. Primark shoes. Love to see that. I really like that skirt. Ooh. And they go so well with the so crop top vibe. Is I forgot to put my rings on. <gasps> I thought my personality wasn't fully here. Do you know I know what you mean. Do you need some rings? No, Are mind. you sure? Sorry, my fingers like, <laughs> I've got so many rings on, guys. I can share. <laughs> Cute. And it's got, has it got a little C on it? Yeah. Oh, I love that. And my earrings are uh, like Regina uh, Nice. Yes, queen. Right, <laughs> I promise you we're not boring we're outside of my flat. We're the at Brew Dog. Shot it has literally like, can you see? I've got to go RCI. I know, I feel like I'm the same. Oh my we're god, wearing, mine are really <laughs> We're wearing blazers, so we're working. <laughs> I was thinking, where'd she go? Where'd she go? No, this is Alice Bradley reporting live. <laughs> Alice has been amazing and actually brought me to the Candy Kittens event and it's at Brew Dog in Leicester Square, opposite. Our checkpoint. <laughs> Our checkpoint, which is Harry Potter, guys. That's how you know you're in London and you're in the theatre section. Also, miss the rain. I've just looked outside and it's guys, raining. It's pouring it down. As well. you know, but I was thinking this actually. I haven't seen much rain this month. My no. April showers, well, last month, I didn't see much rain. No, I have. It's been very hot. Global warming, everyone. I swear to God, the invite said 4 pm to 6, and it did. No one was here. Yeah, yeah we're here alone. We're here we're alone. alone. Well, like, there's, there's journalists. There's journalists. Like, now, but should we set ourselves a challenge? Yeah. I am going to do something, Jamie Lang. Ask him a silly question. Yeah. Say it or short it. <laughs> You've got to sing. You've got to sing the main Chelsea theme tune in front of his face. I don't know it. What is it? It's three. Beep, boop, beep, 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 boop, beep, beep. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm scared. It's the challenge. We're going. We've also got um, the actual drinks that we're here to try. This is raspberry and guava, and it's really nice. Like, it does taste like beer, but it's got a very sweet. It's kind of giving me like. It's perfect for like young teens getting drunk yeah. for the first time. Like, like almost yeah. not strongbow, but like way nicer than strongbow, like more classic than strongbow. There's actually loads of um, sweets actually behind us. Shall I show you? Oh my god! We've got all of the sweets oh here. God. And then, what's the gourmets? Is that like a new so sweet? The gourmets is the smaller ones, and they're not coated in any sugar. I sound like I've worked with the candy. <laughs> She knows, she's well, an ambassador, which is why we're here. This is what inspired the brew dog drink, so the gourmets. Lovely. I think it's those ones there. The yeah, the ones without the sugar. So like, it, I think they're, yeah. it's a pattern, isn't it? Yeah. We're gonna have literally the best evening. I'm so excited. And um, Alex is staying over, we're gonna have a chill night. Are we gonna go chill? Are you having a chill night? If we make it home, <laughs> who knows? If we make it home. <laughs> I'm just worried. We're drinking. I know the event hasn't even started. And we've yeah. said it, it or shot it. <laughs> we've said it or shot it. Jeez. <laughs> What's this? Isn't that Wingstop where they film. Which? What? Wingstop. Do you watch Amelia Dimps? No. On YouTube? Who's that? that does the, she's the one who interviewed Louis Rowan. He wins. My money don't jiggle jiggle. It's so actually. I'm pretty sure. No I don't know if it's, She does it in like loads of different chicken shops around London. Oh, her Amelia. Amelia yeah. Dimps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, is that his song? I'm sure that it was on her. Guys, I didn't even know. He, I didn't even know that was his <laughs> new he, She said, no, "I'm sure it's a jiggle jiggle." Hey, oh! Let's see a wiggle wiggle. Let's show. Hopefully, we didn't embarrass ourselves. Yeah. If you watch the say it or shut it, you'll know. You'll know. I'm also looking to Paddy, who is the beer whisperer, Ooh. who is going to basically test the beer and tell us how great it is. So thank you so much, Craig. Thank you to the Candy Kids team. Thank you to BrewDog and everyone here. So thank you so much for really treating me. And to test this beer, but I'm on my fourth glass. 6% <laughs> hazy fruit forward IPA mm. with natural fruit flavors of raspberry and guava. Uh, you might have noticed if you're very astute that it's bright pink as well. We did that deliberately. Um, if you haven't seen the video about that, you soon will. It's one of my favorite videos we've ever done. Um, so what you've got is an amazing aroma of like Robinson's fruit squash, fruity, really berry forward, with that little hint of tropical fruit from the guava. And then if you taste it, it's not too sweet, 
we didn't want too much sugar in the beer because if there was too much sugar in the beer, you couldn't have an absolute fuckload of candy canes. <laughs> and cheers from Rudolph. Yeah. 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 Order. We're McDonald's. Um, I've got some chicken's legs. Lovely. Some fries. I've got a Fanta. Mm -hmm. I've got a big flurry. Oh shit, dropped a bit of lettuce. Yes. Um, I've got the McPlant, which is lovely. And lots of chips. Meal. I got uh, Jamie on my vlog. Go check it out. Oh shit. <laughs> that song. Emma. Does that just remind me about school? Yeah. Guys, I'm feeling so nostalgic at the moment. That don't weigh me up when it's all over. But like, if I die, not to be really morbid, but I want that at my funeral. I'll never forget this. McDonald's. Yep. Down and out. <laughs> That's just how I feel. Emma. I don't reckon, I'm glad you feel the same. I actually don't recognise I don't that know that name. What the hell? Do you ever go like, that was now 63, do you know what I mean? I feel like that's now 68. Imagine if I'm right. What now was it on? 73. I said, did I say 63? I thought you said 68. 68. Wait, when? Wait, when are you born? July. 97. 97. So that just brings me in to my year group. And I'm the oldest of my year group. So you'll just be a year older than me. Yeah, but you'll you? be two school years if you're September. Are you September, baby? Yeah. September what? 98. Yeah, so 97 babies are the year below me. Good morning, Charlie. It's literally only just morning. Me and Alice have been sat, being productive. It's been our little morning setup. It's very cute. Wet hair vibes. Cute, yeah. Glasses. Um, I'm just about to jump in the shower because I'm going for my first ever spray tan. I'm actually really scared. I don't know why it's such a stupid thing to be scared about. But I'm gonna get in the shower, exfoliate my whole body. I've been told that that's the best thing to do. Lather my whole body in moisturizer. Currently listening to the girls' bathroom podcast on route. Heading more north of London today for my first spray tan. I'm actually really nervous. I've left Alice at home. She's doing some work in my flat, and so is Aiden. Now I'm just worried because I have like quite dry patches on my arms. So I feel like the tan's gonna stick to them, but we shall see. Guys, I didn't realize I'm in like a really bougie hotel and I literally look like a slob <laughs> because I'm wearing all like loose clothing. So the tan doesn't attach to it afterwards, but we're going to floor seven, room 700 for a spray tan. So I've just had my spray tan with Claire, just in here, currently looking like a golden goddess, um, semi-naked. Which one did we use? The Soft Tannin Express Mousse. This one is the one that we've used. I'll show you properly later when I'm clothed. <laughs> and then I used the exfoliating mitt and the self tan razor prior to this. Like, was it last night, I think? I'm back from the spray tan. Oh, I haven't actually dated I don't think since yeah, um, I'm gonna it. show you a proper like after when I've washed it all off and we're about to get ready for skinny dip event tonight uh, we've ordered a chipotle yes. oh yeah and um, we're gonna share some guac and the tortilla chips and then we've both gone for some burritos so we're gonna go take it out on the balcony because it's such a bloody gorgeous day is I know, and everyone is like posting stories of, like having lunch outside oh. and it's, like, we, we should, should do, do that, that. We, should, we should go in the garden and do that, that. <laughs> right quick outfits of the day because we're running a little bit late. Oh my god, we look so fun look and bright so together. Our shoes are ASOS. I actually don't know if they are ASOS itself, but I will link them down below. Gorgeous. And orange dress. It mm -hmm. sort of looks like a nighty, but I kind of like it. I love it. And then pink blazer is nasty gal. How about you? Love it. So I've got River Island blazer matched with a River Island top. This love. was last year, but River Island do do really good blazers, so just check them out. Mm -hmm. This skirt is boohoo. It's a little bit like risque though, because of this like V scan yeah. thing. You right on the flash nun. your nun a little bit but <laughs> it is very flattering for my gals out there who are like me and don't really have like much of a waist it actually does create like a silhouette yeah. nice. which I like and the ruching is very flattering and then my go-to Primark shoes which they're just easy to wear and I never get bad feet from these so we're at the skinny dip event for Nescafe. Is it a Zira? Is that how you say it? Yeah. How cute is it in here? They've got like neon lights everywhere as well. We've come to the tattoo station over here. Um, I'm going for this little flower with a smiley face on because it looks super cute. Megan's over there going to get her drinks. <laughs> 
say a big thank you to Skinny Dip and Nescafe Azera for inviting me to the event yesterday. Here is a little look at my tattoo and I've got my cling film off of it. Do you want to see it? It's basically, I wanted it to face me because um, I, I got it for like just like a little cutesy moment for myself. I know some people are probably going to be like, why the fuck would you get that? But they were doing just flash tattoos and I really don't, didn't want to deep it that much. Like it's just a bit of skin, do you know what I mean? They were like small tattoos and like I'm going to be dead in the ground one day. So if I've got a little bit of ink on my arm that I might regret in like 10 years. Is it that much to worry about? No, not really. So I got this cute little flower with a smiley face on and it's gonna face me when I'm like writing. How sweet is that? Like I'm actually obsessed with it. It's so cute. It's a little bit sore still, but um, I quite enjoy it. Like I really enjoy the like pain of getting a tattoo. I don't know if that makes me like an absolute psychopath. I just wanted to show you the actual reason why I went to Skinny Dip. So we've got a Skinny Dip bag here and they popped in two of the Nescafe products. Join Skinny Dip and it says a limited edition design in collaboration with Skinny Dip. This brightly packaged tin is set to bring a smile to your face whenever you're making coffee. And you can get 20% off the Skinny Dip website with Azera 20. So if you wanted to get anything from Skinny Dip, because they have like really cool phone cases, which I'll show you in a second, and some other bits that they have. We've got the Americano and the decaf Americano. They're really sweet tins, but yeah, this is what we were celebrating. These other bits that Skinny Dip have popped in as well. So we've got like a makeup bag with like some constellations on, it's holographic a cheek and eye mask in the shape of cherries which i thought was very sweet and then i picked up this phone case because i thought it'd be really fun for the summer months it's just got like butterflies rainbows mushrooms hearts on just like super fun and colorful let me quickly try on one of these sloggy things because i've tried them on this morning and i actually felt myself i've been doing the it's about downtown wait a minute oh, i need a sentimental pump me up yeah basically i'm obsessed with the lizzo dance and song that's on tiktok at the minute so i did a little dancey dance in underwear on tiktok my tan from yesterday that Claire did. I actually love it so much. Like, my whole body looks delightful. I'll show you the white set. But yeah, they've sent me basically some of the new sets. I'll leave a link down below in case you're interested, but they're so comfortable. As you see my tan a little bit more as well, actually. But how cute is this? And also, I was like, when I was dancing and watching it back on TikTok, it's actually like fascinating watching the human body like move and mold and like the skin like crumple and roll. Like, it's so weird that we hate that on ourselves, but I actually like feel like it's so fun. Like, do you know what I mean? It's like quite fun how our body like rolls and ripples. I don't know why we hate, why do we hate ourselves? Because our body does that, it's literally so bizarre to me. But the weather, look at the weather, it's such a beautiful day. I feel like we're about to hit the heat wave. Oh, look at that blue sky, how wonderful. So it's Saturday and I'm off to pole. Um, look how gorgeous this little like black dress is. It's like a escort, so um, like a proper like tennis dress sort of thing. Um, from the Gilly Hicks Active Wear range. And honestly, it's so comfortable and like fits really lovely. But yeah, I'm off to Paul. I'm just going to pop a fleece on over the top so I don't feel too exposed walking. I think it's a little bit chilly outside as well. Have a lovely pole sesh. Um, and I'll try and film some for you so you can have a little see what we're up to today. Lovely, yes. Good. Now you're going to have to get out something. Yeah, there you go. Well, nicely done. Nicely done. Keep rolling. So I'm just heading out to go meet Amy. Yes, it was really nice. We had Aiden's family over and it was really nice and chill. Like after I went for my pole lesson, we did a lot of like floor work and stuff in PAR, as you'll see. We spent the rest of the day with Aiden's family, went to CZ, it was really good. I had the chicken milanese, it's like a new, one of the new dishes. They've had it for a while, but they've like changed the sauce and stuff. It was phenomenal. Aiden had risotto as well and he said it was really, really good, like nine out of 10. I'm wearing this new little Gilly Hick set. How sweet is this? I'm gonna go out shoot with Amy, we're going to a really cute little place in South Kensington for lunch and then she's coming back here because we're recording a podcast episode and I really want Amy on my podcast because I feel like she's got a lot of good knowledge to share in terms of like social media, money making in London um, and then like a little bit of her background with like bad relationships and stuff so that's what we're going to be recording today. Makeup is literally everywhere because I'm 
very hot. We're currently enjoying the juice on Fulham Road. I actually really love Fulham Road, I rate it a lot. It's like a quieter version of King's Road basically. So I definitely recommend coming up here if you want like a more of a chill vibe, nice like restaurants and just places to stroll. We're going to this place called Le Petit Beef Bar. Um, for a roast, for a Sunday roast. How lovely, I feel really grateful that Amy's taking me. Yeah, we're going there for a press review, but it's like Amy's press review, if that makes sense. And I'll show you the food when we get there. Currently wearing this like really cool, like lightweight linen suit from Monkey. And then this little like top as well. It has like a little neck detail around. Very sweet. So I was so tired this morning and um, I could barely like open my eyes. I felt like I'd been drugged, you know, like I literally couldn't wake up. And I had so many hours sleep, so I don't know why I was being like that. So me and Ames are sharing these buns. Beef brisket. Beef brisket. So yeah. buns. Um, Ames brought me here for a date. We're having like a proper Sunday roast, aren't we? With like ribeye. Oh my God, I'm so excited for it. But yeah, we're going to dig in because we're both so hungry and haven't eaten. Yeah. Oh, so good. So our main dish has arrived. We've got uh, the sexy big Yorkie, we've got some ribeye, some roasties, some gorgeous gravy and then loads of yummy veg. But we are very happy with our experience so far aren't we? Like the bao buns were just unreal and then the roast, so delicious. Amy's had an issue with her stories today. It's not the one. Not ideal dessert as well. Like how amazing does this look? Oh, so this is French toast, um, ice cream and whipped cream. And then over here we've got gelato, caramel sauce, chocolate, raspberry sauce. <laughs> so I've had a lovely day with Ames. She came and recorded a podcast episode of mine as well to help me shoot a couple of bits here and Aiden did as well and now we're just about to cook a hello fresh meal and um, what are we doing today bulgogi is that how you say it or bulgogi no chicken stir fry I'd never heard of it before literally until we decided to pick our meals um, I've just started getting it like because we haven't had hello fresh since I've been here so we thought why not we've also got the chicken and black bean fajitas Yellow Thai style veggie curry. I'm very excited to make this. When do you want to do this one? Maybe tomorrow? No, you have to do that one last. Oh, that, this is the last one because this one doesn't have any um, meat in, right? And then we've also got peri peri breaded cod, which actually looks really delicious as well. But yeah, we're doing the noodles tonight. Should be quite quick and easy, to be honest. I think it's probably the quickest meal out of all of them. Two bags of rock. Where are the green beans in here? Oh, I love green beans. I'm very excited about these. Perfect. Honestly, these Kili Hicks sets are flattering as fuck. Like, I just wore this um, as well to shoot my last bits in. So these are like some cozy little like shorts. And then these tops, I've got them in three different colors. The teal that you saw earlier, this white, and then a black, I wanna say. <laughs> nice for lounging as well as doing axe wearing. But yeah, we're gonna make the meals. These are our other added bits that we've got as well. So we've got roasted peanuts, some soy sauce, um, the bulgogi, which I'm not really sure what it is, to be honest. And then our egg noodles. 